things changed a lot. There were high profile schools popped up all over the United States. We were sent to classes that were previously only given to military. Anniston, Alabama, which previously used to be Fort McClellan, was there to receive COBRA training. We were over there doing live drills with VX gas, something we had to know about now in our new world. Defining moments, that changed everything for us. When you first walk up, there's a, a long wall, and on that wall is, is etched the names of all those who died at the Pentagon that day. Towards the very end, fifth name from the end, there it is, 1973, Kevin W. Yoakum, USN. I said, gentlemen, I want you to look at that name. That's just not a name on the wall. He's from my town. Went to school there. His family's still there. We named an overpass after him. One day he come and he said he had decided that he was enlisting in the Navy. He went when he was stationed in Maine, I think it was. It was very cold. And he, he came back on a leave and he said, guess what? I said, what? He said, I'm going to the Pentagon. And he said, you know, people say I'm too young, but I have that goal. And thank God he kept on. He served on two ships, the USS Horn and the USS Fitzgerald. And he enjoyed what he was doing. And in the midst of all of that, he ended up in the Pentagon. How do you feel after 10 years? After 10 years, it's bearable. He and a number of his office workers were in an elevator in the South Tower when the second plane struck. The elevator fell to the bottom of the building between the first floor and the lobby. The door was stuck and they could not get out. Russ and his boss, Dean Eberling, were able to open the door somewhat and two small women were able to get out and they survived. At that point, the building of the South Tower <coughs> fell. Russ came to Sulphur in 2001 on Father's Day. We had a great get together, a lot of quality time was spent. At one point, Russ says, he says, Uncle Eddie, I want you to do one favor for me. And I'm thinking he wants to go fishing or some other activity. I said, sure, Russ, what is it? He says, I want you to chase me around the house one more time. <laughs> As my wife and I were leaving that gathering, Russ came up behind us, put his arms around us, and said, I love you guys. If you remember nothing else about what was said, tonight, this evening, please remember what Ed Nelson shared with you. Please remember what Ms. Yoakum shared with you. They shared it from the heart. They shared it from a firsthand experience about what this day is really all about.